How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this quote unquote funny meme that's been floating around the internet today. I'm seeing websites like Mashable and more coming up with articles talking about Fox News posted this picture, and now the internet is being blown up with memes. These people that are laughing at this, joking at this, don't really understand what they're talking about. They're following a trend and have no clue what's going on. I'll place a tweet from AOC on the screen before you, and she's saying a lot of what ignorant people on the internet right now are saying, talking about, oh, that's not really a real vest. It came from Party City. You want to make the border look worse than what it is, this, that, and the third. She does not know anything about what she's saying. What Lawrence Jones has on in this picture is a plate carrier, a small arms protective insert. These plates that are in this particular carrier that he has are designed to prevent any kind of projectile from penetrating it. Okay, there are different types of what you would call a bulletproof vest. This is just one of them. It's a plate carrier. It's an actual thing. You can go on the internet right now and find them. They're real things. Okay, the plate is the main thing. How it's carried is really irrelevant. You can have attachments on it. You can have little spots for a radio or phone or whatever the case may be. That's what he has on right there. It was not from Party City. It's not to make the situation look worse than what it is at the border. The border is very serious. It's not a game. It's a lot of violence, a lot of drugs, a lot of human trafficking. All of that is going on right at the border. There have been shootings. There have been killings at the border. And Lawrence Jones was required to wear that vest on a ride along as he said during a Fox News interview. The Border Patrol agent that's standing right here keeping us safe told me to put it on, to keep us safe here. Um, just two weeks ago, a couple months ago, I'm sorry, there was a shooting. What people don't understand is that we control this side of the border, but the cartel controls the other side of the, the border. So it's not about trying to make it look worse than what it was or whatever. It's a real thing, okay? Just because you're used to seeing people on television and music videos at like 50 Cent wearing the bulletproof vest with the big straps and their name on it and all this that and the third, that does not mean that's the only way you're able to protect yourself with some kind of armor that you put on your chest. There are many more ways to do this. And you know, people like AOC and others, these websites, they give us plenty of content to work with. It, it's almost too easy. It's like shooting fish in the barrel. If you're really trying to lose the next election, you're doing a great job at it because all we got to do is just sit back here, Wait for you to say something and then we attack it and we prove how you're incorrect. The man had on a real vest. It was a requirement. The border is not a joke. It's not a game. We need that wall right now. And it's funny seeing these people like Chuck Schumer, especially Chuck Schumer, talking about how immoral, quote unquote, the wall is. But just a few years ago, he was a big fan of it, talking about we should give more money to the wall than what Trump is asking for right now. Now, I may not have called it a wall. It may have been a barrier. It may have been a prevention of entry. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. And beyond that, there's plenty of border wall at the border already. I've been to the border. I've seen it from myself. It's already existing. Before Trump came into office, before he was even inaugurated, there's been plenty of border wall right there. It's just incomplete. All we're trying to do right now is complete the wall and beef up security so we're able to have a safer border for everybody. And don't get it twisted. Just like my man Lawrence Jones also said in this particular interview at the border, there are not just the quote unquote Mexicans coming to the border. You got people from all over the world. I think they caught like what 400,000 people in one year at the border from 150 different countries, people from all over the world. During this particular interview, he said they caught two Chinese nationals, like during the time they were rolling, two Chinese nationals. I've said that before. You got a lot of Chinese people coming to Mexico, coming through that border because it's easy. It's porous. There's no wall in certain spots. You can just walk right across. And then now you're here in the country illegally. You might go work in a massage parlor. You may go do something else. It, whatever you want to do, it's available for you at the border because it's lack of security. The wall is not all the way built. Okay. And since there is a lack of security and the wall's not all the way built, you're going to have shootings and you're going to have guys that are required to wear some type of protective gear, which is what Lawrence Jones had on. 
I can tell people like AOC and others have never really experienced anything with the military. They've never been to a surplus store or anything like that. I've seen stores where they sell stuff like this. I've been there. I've talked to them and everything. I've been inside the store and I've seen the equipment. So I know what it is. You know, I got family in the military. I know what kind of equipment they have, things they use out there in the field to protect themselves. These people are so ignorant, which is kind of crazy that they got elected in the first place. Hopefully, episodes like this would be enough to prove to people that your AOCs of the world and others who making these little funny memes about the vest do not deserve to be in office. I mean, if you don't have general knowledge about the military, general knowledge about certain things, to speak on it before you speak on it, you probably shouldn't be in any kind of high office. So what do you think? Do you think the memes are hilarious? Oh, he has on the party city vest. Ha ha ha. Or are you like me just saying, okay, this is ridiculous. That's actually a real thing. It's protective gear. No, it's not one of them big bulky black vests that 50 cent would have on in a rap video. But yes, it is protective gear and you need to wear it in an area where it's dangerous. All right. You may not get 40 yacht bucks straight to the chest out there, but you may catch a stray bullet coming across the border. That can happen. Or they may shoot straight at you. OK, you're probably not going to have the guy on the roof sniping you or something like that from a long distance right there on the border with cameras but you may have like i said some small arms fire you know regular weaponry and it may come in your direction okay he doesn't have on the full helmet and the 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 full body stuff but he has enough to protect himself to protect the vital organs right there your heart and your stomach your liver your kidneys all that kind of good stuff all right so i think that's pretty much wraps it up Again, these websites, these social media platforms, these newspapers want to come out and talk crazy without having any kind of real information. You got a bunch of haters out there just trying to come up with something to attack Fox News. They want to hate conservatives. They want to hate anybody that does not have their political viewpoint in mind. But before they hate, they should educate. How about that? Not even the rapper, but that's just what it is. And whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.